Hello, what have we here? Welcome to IDP Nation, the place for IDP and draft coverage. We are your hosts, Dan and Daryl. We have you covered from your LB One Year Taxi Squad. We are IDP Nation. And we are also the IDP guys today. Yeah. <laughs> How's everybody doing? Woo-hoo! Hey guys, <laughs> I don't have your intro, or else I would have played that too. Yeah. Your intro is way sweeter. I, mean, yeah. I, I, I just saw that. I was like, <laughs> why don't we have that? That's way cooler than what we got. We probably made it uh, That's more recently we're cooler than, than you. yours. <laughs> yeah, I gotta text it. I gotta text to Nate. Nate's gonna hear from me about this one. This is bull. No. No, the yeah. boss man's busy. So you, you probably heard Daryl already cursing before we even could hit the play button. It's ridiculous. <laughs> Damn it, I haven't I'm cursed ready. yet. You did. As soon as I'm like hitting the button to hit the video, you're like, as soon as I hit record, you're like, oh, because that's your fault you, for hitting the button. So early. You He's got a know point. He's got a point. You, you should, should really like hold off the button. He needs to learn to <laughs> shut the hell up when we say it's time to record. Is what he has to do. Nah. Can't do it. But anyway, Not we have a jam-packed show because uh, we're gonna try to mash up both shows and do a little bit of all of our stuff here and get our get our stuff in, so to speak. As it turns um, out, we're not even doing a show, and we're just going to talk about injuries for the next three hours, and well, uh, yeah. that's what we got. <laughs> that's, that's probably the show, is everybody's <laughs> dead, and uh, just cancel the rest of the season. because Sunday, bloody Sunday. Yeah. Oh, yes. man. Yeah, I think uh, Mike Wellard had it, said that on Sunday. He's like, uh, name a song that would represent today, and that would definitely be a song to majority. represent. Yeah, I'm sure. The song to represent the, the day, I mean, obviously, um, you know, Barkley and CMC going down would uh, alone would kill everybody. Uh, but then you also had Nick Bosa and uh, his teammate Solomon Thomas going down. So, yeah, I mean, you got Eric Armstead telling the the Jets uh, that MetLife Stadium's garbage. And- <laughs> It yeah. probably is. And they, not, they have, to, they have to play their next week too against the Giants. So <laughs> yeah. they're, uh, yep. they're uh, pretty pissed off about that. Yeah, and Cortland, Cortland Sutton too, and then Drew Lack. Uh, man, there were a ton. Even even lesser known guys are gone. It, it, I heard it was like 20, 20 ACLs total. Yeah. I, the, the one tweet I found funny was uh, something like uh, the the M, the ACL is, is such a little B a little you know B tendon all it's all's existence is to break and, and ruin somebody's <laughs> athletic career. So yeah, what what has it ever done for anybody? Like yeah. what's it ever done positive? Yeah, I saw that one. Yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> What's an ACL uh, ever done for you? Uh, speaking of Marquise Blair, looks like he's done for the season. Oh uh, yeah. Uh, oh, man. Damn and, 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 and Bruce Irvin is also down for right, the season. Like, right. Bruce Irvin. That's I you. Know. Bruce I Irvin. That's how I don't know how I'm going to live. <laughs> Dan, that was a great game, though. You, you enjoyed that game, right? Uh, you know what? It, it, it was it was a great game, and games like that, it, it's hard having to wake up in the morning and deal with kids because, like, it took me an extra hour to fall asleep after that. Because you know, last play, yeah, you know, you're like, it's it's a t- you know, coin toss whether you win or lose. So it's like you're like nervous, and Dude, yeah, Lano, it was a good win. And um, Lano, Lano Hill, man, like that was that was cut, that was clutch, that was huge. That was, yeah. And, um, you know, it's, it's it's stupid because the the whole game, and as soon as I got down to the one, I'm like, well, I know it's coming. It's going to be the, the fullback and Cam playing a guessing game. And um, they should have probably just faked it and threw it like they did last time because, I mean, the tight end was wide open, or the fullback, I guess, was wide open last time. 
And I guess they figured they'd go with the run again. Um, but yeah, stopping Cam on the one is not an easy task. So no, it's not. Um, meanwhile, uh, the the Niners are uh, are one and one, and the rest of the divisions two and zero. Oh. And the Niners are uh, down a quarterback, a, a quarterback, a running back, <laughs> uh, a center. I think they were they were down two defensive linemen. D Ford is not probably coming back anytime soon. It looks like. Yeah. Really? Uh, yeah, I didn't see he, how long he was out for. Uh, there's yeah. no clear timetable, uh, so that means not good. Yeah, no great. bueno. Great. That's really, uh, no bueno. It's real good for my uh, over 50% ownership of D Ford. <laughs> oh, gee. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I don't even know that kind of stuff because that would take me actually counting all of that. So, oh, spreadsheets took me a couple hours, yeah. knocked it all out, and uh, it was worthwhile to be honest because uh, you learn a lot. You know, like I learned I have literally even shares of uh, Jamal Adams, Derwin James, Buda Baker, twenty five percent across all twenty two leagues, just like good to go. So. So yeah, that, oh, that still know. sounds like a lot of work. Uh, Taven Young is on injured reserve. <laughs> <laughs> we can just go through this all day. Anthony Barr on injured reserve. That's a torn pec. It's not yeah. an ACL. Yeah. So torn pec. It's still like eight weeks, though, isn't it? Uh, well, he's on yeah, season-ending injured to reserve. Oh, he's level. done for the yeah. year. Okay. Yeah, I think they put him on the long-term. Troy IR, not just the short term. I like Troy Troy Dye. the guy you want. Uh, hell yeah, I went and picked him up everywhere. I already had him, so I was planning ahead. Uh, Draymond two, Jones is out six to four to six weeks. Um, let's yep. see. Uh, Ziggy Ansah got a job again. How about that? Oh, no oh. way. Where else? Uh, yeah, oh. The Niners, because they're so desperate for. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, like yeah. we have too many people hurt. Let's get the person who's hurt more than anybody else in the world. <laughs> okay, oh, Joey. Okay, Joey. I mean, is, is Jabal Sheer just retired? Because right. you would think he would get a call from somebody. Like, yeah. I, I was thinking Seattle could have used him. Michael Bennett could come back. You would think. Oh. Yeah. yeah. He oh, was God. washed. Please, no. Please, no. Well, I mean, if he wants a paycheck, he could probably go get one for somebody. Yeah. True. He's writing children's books. He's got a paycheck. <laughs> <laughs> I need to write a children's book. I need to just, you know, like you link know up with an athlete. No one, no one wants it. to read your children's book. Well, that's the thing. I will be the writer, and they can put their name on it, and they can just pay me. No one wants to read anything you're writing for children. <laughs> like, why, Hold up. Why is this so I think sad? I, would, I think... No, I think I would have a great children's book. Okay, let's oh, hear it. Jesus Christ. I can't wait to hear this. You gotta, no, I'm serious. Oh, that's it. You don't have, I, like, I, you no, have a picture? I, well, I just, I, no, I'm just saying I can put together a great children's book. They would love me. <laughs> sure. I would be pure freaking gold. All right. Challenge I, can for hear, I can just hear... Dan's son, Brayden, right now, repeating everything I say in the book. It would Hollywood. be gold. Hollywood, I just want you to come up with a pitch. You got like two weeks yeah. the next IDP show. Come up with a pitch, record it, okay. and we'll play it on the show. Uh, dude, okay. yes. Yes. Two weeks. I got this. <laughs> two weeks. Uh, this is happening. Hell uh, yeah. I got this. Dan, I love you, but Brayden's my boy. <laughs> this is happening. Yeah, I, I highly doubt anybody. <laughs> I highly doubt a children's uh, publisher would publish anything. See, I don't know. from you. From you. <laughs> <It's just> like, <laughs> <laughs> See, you they take me. one look at them. They're like, nah. <laughs> you, you, you can't even go ten seconds into the podcast without dropping an f bomb. So how are you going to get through a children's book without it? See, when Dan doubts me, that's uh, the only motivation I need right there. Uh, I'm kind of a master motivator. Uh, that's, hey. that's two, weeks. What it is. two weeks. I'm coming up with something. Two weeks. <laughs> yes. This is happening. Good job, Sean. <laughs> oh, man. I'm scrolling, and, and I'm disappointed because um, they're mostly offensive injuries that have been covered here. So, Malik, 
Yeah, you guys well, don't, don't do the dirty dirty O here, right? Oh, uh, we, we try to avoid it. We try to leave that to other shows that do it yeah. better than we can. I, <laughs> I don't think there are enough podcasts that cover that. We need more. See, John, know, that's uh, why we, we kind of stick to our niche because, you know, we, we, we know our audience. You know, they, they can go yeah. listen to the ballers or whatever for, for offense and, you know, right. we kind of stick to our niche in the defensive realm. We, we try not to pontificate about stuff we don't actually know about. I mean, I know about it, but... And you yet know, you I, let Hollywood talk about anything. <laughs> I, don't, I don't let him do much. He just kind of well, does it. So. He doesn't let me. I just kind of do it on my own. It's kind of you one know, of those things. Ask for, get, for forgiveness later, you know? <laughs> sure. I, mean, I, like, I, do, I do like to talk about how great Daryl's Lord and Savior Ryan Tannehill is, though. Here we go. This oh, is boy. right here where we go. Completely off the fucking rails right here. <laughs> Who won the game for you? It wasn't uh, your boy, King Henry. King Henry didn't do crap. Yeah. It was Tannehill that won you that game. King Against Henry Sucks lost me a lot of money in DFS. Yeah. He did not have so, a great so You and your Suxonville, uh, if it wasn't for Ryan Tannehill, if you had Marcus Mariota in that game, that's an L. Jesus if he had Blake. If he had Blake Bortles. <laughs> game. Blake Bortles. Oh shit! He signed in Denver, by the way. Hang on. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so I know you don't talk offense, but just real quick, like they have so many weapons in Denver. What if Blake Bortles goes out there and is just awesome? Yeah. What and then like somebody there? else is forced to extend his career. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, Driscoll's oh. gonna gonna play. I think he's just kind of a, an emergency guy, isn't he? Driscoll's trash, though. Like, Bortle is... Oh, I mean, Driscoll guy. didn't do too bad against the pit... Against, I mean, they had no enough no weapons against Pittsburgh. Out out those Driscoll. No way. I'd, no rather way. See Brett, I'd rather see Brett Rippon in there than, than Blake <laughs> Bortles. Oh, Jesus man. I would Christ. kill to see Bortles in Denver with those weapons just go off for, like, two weeks. Drew Locke comes back. He gets benched. And then some <laughs> other team is forced to sign him. <laughs> See, I know now why everybody hates Sean. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty easy <laughs> to figure out. <laughs> he just oh, hopes shit. for disaster. <laughs> well, if one of the... Uh, like Mortal, Mr. Backup, you are freaking screwed. I'm just saying. Is Bortles elite? <laughs> oh shit! It's been a couple of years since I could ask that, but I had to. Hey, All right, man. off offense. We'll get off offense. Uh, Sorry. So oh, one of the things that we're doing for our YouTube audience here is to uh, to screw with you guys a little YouTube. bit, and, and we're gonna we're gonna kind of switch back and forth between some stuff here. Uh, <laughs> Sean's got to cut in half. <laughs> yeah, and I got me. I got me sheet down here. Well, Hold up. Well, tell yeah, me so, everybody you know, sees this. Please not, tell me everybody sees this. I'm not editing uh anything here. It's 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 you know, I'm I'm leaving well enough alone, but I, I do have the controls for everything, so I can kind of switch back and forth. I mean, I could make this um I, I could even make this the IDP update. So if I wanted to <laughs> we, got, we got Joey the Tooth down there on the right. Listen, yeah, we had Joey the Tooth uh Join us for Me the show. Sean over. is in the same screen. How is that happening? Uh, the magic of there. overlays there, Daryl. You guys are chilling in the same house, it looks like. <laughs> we These are. poor That's people who cool. don't have video right now and have no idea what's going on. They're just going to have to check out the Writer Digest Network to check. Yeah. 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 Me and Sean are yeah. the coolest people in this whole damn podcast. R-E-I-T-E-R <laughs> because Nate can't spell writer. Damn, don't hurt yourself. R E I T E R. You know that wasn't me, right? I said Nate. <laughs> well, no, no, Daryl, I think, thought I was speaking and spelling it. Oh. Oh, oh, hell no. I knew it was Sean. I saw okay. him. He's like, it's an orange I never quite know with Daryl whether or not he's. Uh, He's well, with aware of know. his surroundings. Yes. Aware of who I am and, and what I sound like, you know. Uh, so we, we were switching gears a little bit. Um, so we'll, we'll, we'll leave it. You see, I'll even, here we go. We'll, we'll even hit some, some clips here. Guts 
check. I'm doing this just so you guys appreciate Nate a little bit more next time he produces for you guys, so you can see uh, oh, that's you know, good the, stuff. The, the difference. <laughs> I love it. But who's so, my? Yeah, you guys. You guys want to do a gut check? I, I got one for you. Yeah, sure. yeah, let's do it. All right. So, I mean, you guys know what this is. You, you've been on the show yeah. before. Um, pick, pick the person right. you like better. There you go. That's simple. I like so, Johnny. Yeah. Uh, so, so this week we got we got one one dirty O and two defense. We'll start with the dirty O. These guys are two fantasy points apart right now, and essentially standard PPR. Would you rather have? Nikhil Harry, Patriots, 13 receptions, 111 yards, no touchdowns, one fumble lost on the season. No. Or LaVisca Chenault, six receptions, 72 yards, touchdown, seven rushes, 47 yards, no fumbles lost on the season. Who you guys got? Chenault. Give me Visca. I don't trust yeah. Harry's talent. I think he's replaceable. And – I think that uh, the rushing upside is nice for Chenault, and also like they're still Absolutely. ramping him up. Yeah, Absolutely, man. Give me Harry because he's he's basically a rookie. I mean, he barely played last year, and Cam uh, Cam looked pretty good as a quarterback the other day. He he did a lot of rushing around, but he was, I mean, when Edelman eventually gets hurt because he's oh man, gonna get killed. Um, it's yeah. going to be Harry because Harry saw a lot of a lot of targets. Yeah, no, I, I hear you. I, I, Sean knows who I'm gonna say, uh, Laviska, because because my mind is poisoned by college <laughs> fantasy, and that's the only reason. <laughs> I mean, Laviska will be great until he eventually gets hurt, because that's just gonna come eventually. It is coming. It is coming from form. someone yeah. who is talking about Enkila Harry, who literally was hurt all last year. He was. He was. He looks pretty good now, though. <sighs> I don't agree, but that's okay. <laughs> well, uh, I'll I'll throw it out in a, in a in a tweet so we get some votes this week. Uh, this next one, I'm very interested to hear you guys. So, would you rather have the second coming of an IDP legend, Antoine Winfield yes. Jr.? Yeah, baby, eleven oh. solo tackles, mm-hmm. six assists, one sack, two quarterback hits, one forced fumble, one pass mm-hmm. defense on the season. Or Jonathan Abram, 13 solo tackles, four assists, no sacks, one quarterback hit, one tackle for loss, one pass defense on the season. And I love Winfield Sr., therefore I love Winfield Jr. Who you guys got? Winfield Jr. And it ain't even close. Don't even. Really? It's close. No, it's not. Bullshit. I mean, it's it's close right now. It's close right right now. By the way. Uh, ESPN should be fined some money for having their television cart too close to the field. Yeah, that was Jonathan crazy. Abram was nearly paralyzed last night. Yeah. Fact, somebody, some a sleeper erroneously reported that he wasn't moving on the sideline. Oh my god! Which made me think, oh my god, he's paralyzed. And I mean, then, he wasn't moving though. For he wasn't, yeah. Really. He wasn't, yeah. No. It was a but solid I mean, like three minutes. He wasn't moving. Like at that point, you're worried. They kind of cut the commercial though before right. he kind of. Right, but then they came back and he still wasn't moving. Yeah. And then it was just like all of a sudden one second he just like stands up and runs. It's like, what just <laughs> happened here? <laughs> um so That's what my, I do on Friday nights. <sighs> oh, I know, I believe that. I believe you do that four nights a week. Um yeah, he gets up and runs out of the chair and disappears for five minutes. And- yeah, I mean, at least I mean, I'll have somebody to talk to tonight when you, when he runs out of his chair to get yeah, running get we'll be here. or something. Uh, so what I will say, it's Antoine Winfield for me by a margin. Um, I think he's a significantly better talent. Yes. Um, that said, uh, he does have injury concerns. So does Abrams. Uh, this is something where it's like, it's luck of the draw. It really doesn't matter which one of them is more talented at this point because, it's just whoever stays healthy. And I think the thing is, if they both stay healthy, I want Winfield. If neither of them stay healthy, I want Winfield. Outside of that, it's kind of up in the air probably. Winfield has a longer shelf life, and he is the better player. He has a longer shelf life by a year. 
Yeah, it's longer. <laughs> I'll, I'll go with the dissenting opinion just to be that guy. So I'll, I'll go with <laughs> Okay. It's I think Abram's going to play. Uh, I know. I know. Winfield has had had some good games uh, so far, and you might see him in my uh, article coming up. But um, Ooh. About rookies. Ooh. So uh, on Dynasty Football Digest, where yes, Sean, I write about some offense. <laughs> so, so yes. Um, but yeah, he is uh, looking good, and and I was a little nervous because you know. I mean, but everybody lies. And when the coaches put out those, you know, erroneous depth charts and stuff, uh-huh. you know, they, they put the vets in front of the guy all the time. But Winfield, I don't think, has come off the field. Um, but Abram, yeah. you know, besides smashing into a television cart, uh, didn't really come off the field either. So, right. And, and right. Abram, I think if he can avoid uh, being Bob Sanders uh, via, you know, Bob Sanders 2020, then uh, I think he'll, he'll be. I mean, they'll they'll be pretty close, I think, throughout their career, total wise. But see, and I don't think uh, Abram is that great in coverage, so that's what kind of worries me. Is like long term, I think he's one of those guys that eventually, if he doesn't develop in coverage, kind of gets pigeonholed into a single role, and then he's no longer right. that like ninety percent snap type of guy. Yeah, I can see that. But, I mean, box safeties. I mean, Malcolm Jenkins, I mean, he plays practically linebacker half the time for its safety. So, I mean, there's a role for for guys if they have talent in tackling and run cover, run stopping. You know, there's, there's a role. Tell that to uh, Taylor Rapp. Well, <laughs> I don't know. What's going on there, I know. I'm hurting there. <laughs> I'm sure we'll get to that. Uh, and last but not least, uh, these two linebackers are both young and both very close on points this year. Would you rather have Devin White, 17 solo tackles, nine assists, no sacks, one QB hit, two tackle for loss, two pass defense, or Zach Cunningham, 15 solo tackles, seven assists, one QB hit, one tackle for loss, one sack. I don't have a scientific reason for this, but I would like Devin White. Not by much. You want to go? Cunningham. Dar- Daryl's hoping the ceiling tells him the answer. No, I, that's I'm taking Cunningham. <laughs> okay, you want to reason that out or pass the ball? <laughs> They're both really good. They're it both was great. Cunningham. No, they are. Because, I mean, that's, that's because Cunningham may be wear a Titans jersey on the IDP lounge uh. two weeks ago or something. <laughs> no, that's, that's why. A tough one. One. I, I just think Cunningham is going to get more tackles. I do like quite because I think he provides the more big plays. So it kind of depends on what your scoring is. But overall, with the tackles, I think Cunningham probably edges him out because you got Levante David down there, which will take away from White a little bit. And Cunningham has nobody. (laughs) So for me, Devin White was the better talent coming out of college. Um, Cunningham, to me, really struggled with missing tackles in college. Um, And he does still struggle with that now. Um, The big thing is, though, is that development is not predictable. And we've seen Cunningham develop, develop, and we've seen him develop into a solid NFL linebacker. Um, I still think White could be a better linebacker in the NFL, but there's also the chance he doesn't end up anywhere close to Cunningham in terms of like, in terms of uh, technique and just like being sound and knowing what to do and like progressing in that way. So for me, I'm going Cunningham just because I think that's the safe bet where like you're betting the upside on Devin White, but you just can't predict how guys will develop. I mean, you look at someone like uh, going to the offensive side, Dante Pettis, who like fantastic rookie year and then just like fell off the face of the earth and was terrible after that. Um, It's just unpredictable how these guys are going to progress in their career. Yeah, give me Cunningham and mainly going off of what um, 
Daryl was saying, you know, he, he's the only game in town. I mean, he, he's, he does, he's not have to have anybody trying to take plays away from him as much as David will. I right. mean, I know David's, you know, getting up there in age and he's not going to be around forever. Uh, but you know, for, for now, I mean, you know, next two to three years, David probably isn't going anywhere unless right. contracts are an issue. And, and Mc, McKinney is not David. That's for sure. Plus Winfield's there now too. Like, right. yeah. Yeah, a lot, a lot of males to feed on the IDP side of that. So Yeah. Yep. All right. That was good, Chuck. All righty. Um, so I, I guess we will try to um, mix in some of our stuff here. So we kind of hit a bunch of injuries. Are there any other injuries that we didn't necessarily hit on? I mean, this is where we kind of go into the news and – and go into what we got going on. Um, we we kind of hit all the, the major IDP ones. Um, right. Bars out. Bose is out. Yeah. Bruce Did Irvin's you? out. Let's mention that. Bruce Irvin. That's it. That's massive. That's I massive. Mean, you've That's got, a game changer. You've got some other ones, too. Marcus Davenport still not healthy. Right. Um, he might play this next week. Uh, what's, what's up with Frank Clark? It said illness. That's all oh, I, I saw. See that. Don't know. He came out like immediately in that game. Oh, oh I'm aware. Uh, the number of players that came out immediately for me was stupid. Yeah. Explosive diarrhea. <laughs> that, that, was, that, was on, that was on IR for that this morning. <laughs> never morning. So I think I think this oh, this clip has never been uh, more fitting uh, for this Sunday if I can find it. Um, yeah, I'm there. Okay. We go. I'm afraid I've got some bad news. <laughs> yeah, it, it was is pretty bad. Kenny uh, Clark also still not back. That's not great. Yeah, they they weren't fresh. I can't look the like, screen right now. There's four of us and yep. there's six frames. It is fucking me up. Right <laughs> I know, I, and I'm like stuck right in the middle here. Show the split right down the middle. <laughs> I'm like, I'm moving my head, I'm like, uh. I wave and my hand is over there at Sean's head. I'm like, what the he, hell? He's he's in different universes here. <laughs> uh, Yes, uh, I think you got. I think you got the big ones. Yeah. yeah. The, the one nice thing for the listeners is uh, they can save some time because they can listen to both of their favorite IDP shows all at the same time. There you awesome. <laughs> it's like a Marvel so. crossover. Uh. Yes. <laughs> yes. Um, who are you? Who are you in this Marvel situation? <laughs> oh, Hulk, Hulk smash! Don't uh, even. I, I could see don't that. Even. I'll accept I can that. See that. Yeah, I can I see say, it. If you say Thor, I'm throwing my headset. No. <laughs> have you have you not seen the Avengers where freaking Hulk just says? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I have. Oh, Hulk just him to oblivion. Hulk <laughs> smash is awesome, and the one where he picks up Loki and just says, <laughs> "This is fucking great, man." You can't oh, beat the Hulk. You can't. Once again, I pity the people who don't have video. <laughs> plus, plus. You can always check it out after after the fact. Plus, he loves Black Widow. I mean, it's it's a no-brainer. It's a no-brainer? It's yeah. a no-brainer. You know what? She's right. always fine, let me tell you. Scarlett Johansson, oh, yay. That's happening. See, Daryl always likes to call me an old man, so I'll go with old man Logan. In, in this Marvel crossover here. Nice. Yeah, you die, dude. Yeah, Hulk will kill well, you. Spoiler you know, alert. I live like 7,000 <laughs> lifetimes because you yeah. know, around like, you know, forever. I get to go into different universes. I get to like fall asleep and wake up in the future. It's like you're in yeah. the past. Very true. Very true. Yeah. You know, I, you I know, that's, that's a pretty good compliment for me and you, Thor and Hulk. <laughs> you, you complimented cool. yourself. Nobody picked this for you. <laughs> that uh, does not old matter, man John. Old, old man Logan's not Thor. Old man Logan's Wolverine. Well, 
It doesn't well, matter. I'm get with your comics now. here. Come on. Anyway. <laughs> All right, moving on. Let's, let's move on. We got a lot to get to. Um, Johnny, why don't you hit us with the uh, the Statement Games winner from uh, yes. Sunday night. The glorious victory by the Seattle Seahawks. Yeah. And by the way, uh, I think DK Metcalf proved he can run some routes. Ooh. My <laughs> God. On, on the defensive player Ooh. of the year, nonetheless. That man. was beautiful. That was beautiful. Oh, my God. Let, let <laughs> Russ cook. Just, just, yes, Schottenheimer should cook. just let Russell Wilson call the plays from now on. Hashtag yeah, Ben Baldwin. <laughs> yeah, that was awesome. I, I truly enjoyed that game. There were two great. Two, there were a bunch of great games this week. That one and the Cowboys game. I know Hollywood, you're not a fan, but that was a good game. Like, <laughs> period. It that didn't look game. like it was going to be one because no. the Cowboys couldn't get out of their own way in the first quarter. And like then four, four fumbles or whatever. I was, I was, I was done, man. But yeah, no, those are two really good games this week. But yeah, so Sunday night, the Jersey winner this week is. At SS Network 2016, congratulations. Uh, you know, so the deal is we're not on the air this week, so you either had to read the Statements Game tweet or listen to this here and DM them. That's how you get your jersey. So congrats. They probably got an email too. Yeah, yeah. most likely. Yeah, I think the plan was to try to at least, I don't know, split this up both ways. I don't know. What, what, what will happen post production? We'll see. Uh, but anyway, um, I think it's two thirds IDP, guys. No, yes, it is. Because, <laughs> uh, yeah, Daryl does as Daryl does. Although, like I said, at least I have somebody to talk to when he disappears. <laughs> Normally, I just have to kill time and start talking. Yeah, about Dan, I can uh, uh, let me let me knock out my, my betting thing real quick while we're go doing for that. it, man. Because, so. Uh, so Last week, I had uh, 49ers minus six and a half at the Jets. Obviously, that worked out well. Uh, they won. They lost everything, but they won. Um, this I week, like the, I like the 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 the, uh, the, the tweet going out. Uh, yeah, the end game. Yeah. The end what game. Did it cost? What did it cost you? Everything. Everything. Yeah. Yep. It basically did. <laughs> That's crazy, man. So yeah. this week, I I know for a fact Sean will agree with this one. I am taking. Arizona minus five oh, and a yeah. half at home against the Lions. Five and a half. That's it. <laughs> Get out of here. So you yeah, gotta dude. probably smash that now. Before. Give them ten and a half. Yep. Yeah. That's the lack of the country. <laughs> so, so, so you're welcome. That's that's a that's a solid bet right there. Yeah. yeah. It's that now probably because it will probably change between now oh, and yeah. then. Because they'll smarten up to that. Yeah. Um, I actually hit a nice parlay. Um, I hit a three-team parlay. Uh, I bet have? a bunch of overs. I bet three overs. I bet the Bills, Dolphins over. Ooh. Lions, Packers over. Which I think mm -hmm. the Packers might have almost done that by themselves. Yeah, that was a real mm -hmm. solid over. Our defense is terrible, yeah. and our offense is good enough that we're going to keep slinging. Yeah, and then the Buccaneers, Panthers, which uh, thank you, Leonard Fournette, for that final. Yeah. Thank you for not being uh, unselfish and taking it to the house instead of like sliding down on the two, as would have killed <laughs> like you that over for me. Because if yeah. you would have done that, I would have lost my parlay, which would have not been fun. Hey, I like to play a parlay every week just to, just for fun. Because if it hits, it's normally pretty it's good money. Yeah. Speaking of parlays, yeah, Kyle B, our own Kyle Belly Fuel, had a sports book open Belly down the street from his house. Yeah, so he went and bet his first parlay ever this week and hit it for 150 bucks. So congrats, nice. Kyle. Nice, nice. Yeah. Did he bet the Packers <laughs> to cover the over and Aaron Rodgers over or Aaron Jones over three oh, touchdowns? Or something that, was, that was part of his parlay, though the Packers, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> Right. Yeah, I, I mean, yeah. The so uh, oh, who's gonna get fired first, Matt Patricia or Patricia. Adam Gase? Patricia. Ooh, okay. that's a good one, though. That's a good yeah, one. I said Patricia earlier this year because I mean he has done nothing with that team. He's he's regressed. If if anything. Oh, definitely. They were they uh, were better with Jim Caldwell. At least they were. Yep. 
competitive. Yeah. competitive uh, yeah. Walker played 53% this week, by the way. Yeah, beat right. I, and I said that. I said that was concerning when that was happening. You were right. Uh, in the scrimmage. Uh, yep. But also, uh, what's concerning to me as a Lions fan is that uh, beat writers are suggesting that they're not going to fire him this year. Oh, my God. They said 0-4 at the bye week is not going to be good enough. <laughs> so I don't know what it's going to take. Five and only four games. I, I don't know what it's oh, going to take, but, like, he might <laughs> like, not get fired. Oh, my God, man. Can you lose two games at the same time? Can it be 0-8 and eight by the bye week? God, I, I wish, man. I Jeez. wish. I, I mean, honestly, he – and this is seems to be a, a trend with Belichick head, you know, assistant mm. coaches. Like yep. they just they, they leave <laughs> his bubble, and uh, they are not very good at being head coaches. Yeah, I mean, this is worse than any of them, though. This is like the worst. <laughs> <laughs> they keep throwing money at like former Patriots, hoping that's going to fix it, and it doesn't. Yep, and it's uh, embarrassing. It's honestly embarrassing. Yep. I mean, uh, Cephas yep. has to be a bright spot, though. He's he's been he's been okay, considering no. he was like a sixth round pick. I hate Cephas. I hate. <laughs> I thought you were trolling me there, man. No, no. <laughs> Cephas Cephas was one of my <laughs> least favorite picks of that draft. Uh, I think he's terrible. So what's the what's the he's a thing, warm uh, body thing I saw? Him. That Patricia potentially didn't want Okuda. Yeah, I don't think those reports were true. I don't know if they were or not. Okay. But like okay. the 97 eight the ticket is like the least reliable source of news ever. The number of times they've said that Stafford is being imminently traded is just stupid. Like I don't they're okay. they're shock jockey sh- stuff. Were they the limo people, Sean? No, that was a random Twitter account. Oh, okay. <laughs> and people That's bought insane. it. <laughs> I mean, you traded your, you know, and and Slay is not what he was a few years back, but you traded him away. Yeah, he's corner, still a corner was uh, Slay. I mean, he's yeah. still a good corner. Right? Yeah, like he's he's not what he was a couple of years ago. But you he's get rid of your top a, corner. You, you need to bring somebody in. You have a high pick, and Okuda's there. I mean, it it was kind of a Okuda was the right pick. pick. Yeah, he was the right pick there. He had a terrible first week. I still think that, given what we knew at the time, regardless of what happens from here on out, he was the right pick at the time. Because people that wanted Derek Brown out of their mind, Uh, and on top of that, he's also I think the second worst graded defensive tackle on PFF right now Um, through two weeks. Like Okuda might be the second worst cornerback, but through one week. So, I mean, rookies, you have to give yeah. them time. You can't okay, judge them all. Ab- absolutely. Absolutely. But Derek Brown, the things he was good at are not valuable to an NFL defense. Yeah. Being able to stop the run is not valuable to an NFL defense. You have to be able to rush the passer. If you can't do that, you are not valuable. And the way in which he won rushing the passer in college was just by being bigger and stronger than everyone. And that was something that was not going to be translatable at the same level to the NFL. What are you going to say, Daryl? Oh, wow. Now I'm yeah, going Halle- Halle- Derek yeah. Brown or, or Kayvon Jason. No, I mean, Jason? he said it's not translatable. Daryl hates both of them. So. Chason or Brown? Give me Chason or no, Brown. No, no, I actually like that's what you like, like Brown. You hate Chase on. Yeah. No, give me he's, give me Chase on because he plays the more high value position. Defensive oh, tackle, Jesus. unless yeah, oh Jesus. I'm <laughs> I'm sorry that you want to draft fullbacks in the first round. I can't help that, dude. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh my god, no. There's Chase on couldn't rush the passer. In the pro, I mean, as a college player, he got it's a, not going to translate. He got a lot of pressures. He didn't get any sacks. He was not productive, but he was Maybe. talented and he was athletic and he had a ton of the tools. The problem is, is that when you look at these players, 
you have to be a top five defensive tackle in the NFL to be a extremely valuable player. You have to be Aaron Donald or someone right. along those lines. If you're not, then you're not worth high draft capital because all you do is stuff rushing plays. Mm-hmm. You change running plays from four yards to one yard, and you that. save three yards every once in a while, maybe four times a game. Well, I just found out I was eliminated I from to. my super flex eliminator in week two. Ooh, nice, that's dude. Good. Yeah. Well, well, let's see. My nice, team man. of uh, my team of uh, <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, I had Watson. Crap the bed for me. Uh, he's um, been he he's not had great matchups so far this year. He hasn't. I it had, did not get better this week, by the way, at all. It probably doesn't. I had Mark he's Andrews. Had crap the bed. Yeah. I had Amari Amari Cooper had an okay game. I mean, Mike Davis was one of my highest scoring players. So that, oh, 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 that tells oh, you. Wow. I mean, Jeff oh, Driscoll wow. actually. Jeff Driscoll was my leading uh, scorer. With eighteen point seven points, Ooh. so yeah, it was a bad week for this roster. I mean, I, I had a bunch of guys that that you know when we drafted this in July, um, you know, I, I had Drew Locke and Mitchell Trubisky on my bench here. I had plenty of quarterbacks, just none of them did anything. Um, and then I had Mark Ingram, who uh-huh. apparently is uh, you know person non grata in uh, Baltimore. He had that to one run. Fair, that was about to be it. Fair, they all are. Yeah, they all, they all are. I mean, I had um, Naheem Hines do nothing. If he would have actually had flipped his week, that probably would have been safe. Yeah. Um, I had Will Fuller, who did nothing. <laughs> I had, you know, he, he's a best ball dream, but he did nothing. Uh, Emmanuel Sanders did nothing. Uh, I thought Ryan Griffin was going to be his uh, touchdown self, but apparently they forgot the how to do that in New York, too. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, and you know, just a bunch of bums this week. So that's all right. It's for charity. I was the I was the uh, charity person. So actually, it would have been good if I would have won the whole thing because then the money would have gone to charity anyway. But somebody else will have to just donate to charity for me. <laughs> anyway, let's get into some of these games coming up this week. We got a couple other spots we'll throw in here. Uh, we have Daryl's favorite part of the show coming up here. I'm great. Um, yeah, it, it has been entertaining. In fact, uh, it's probably the reason why we, we uh, may, may lose our clean uh, bill of health <laughs> our language. Uh, but first up, the juggernaut Thursday night game. Boy, oh boy, oh, after yeah. the, the Chiefs and Texans, we have gone downhill quick. We had the Battle of Ohio as a crap game, and now we have Jacksonville at – I'm sorry, Miami at Jacksonville this week. Jacksonville is actually the favorite in this game. I don't have the point spread here, but uh, I guess it's because they're at home. And Minshew has been uh, ridiculous. He's been been pretty good, yeah. He has been. I got Um, Jacksonville. Who are you guys taking? I got Jacksonville. I'm probably going Jacksonville, too. Minshew magic seems to be real. I know Daryl's going to refuse to take Jacksonville because he's biased. I'm not taking Jacksonville. It's not happening. (laughs) Not happening. Uh, no, so we're going to try to keep this brief this week because I know we're already almost like an hour in and yep. we haven't even gotten to any games. So uh, if you give your pick and one person you want to watch, we don't have to give a reason why. Perfect. Um, I'm taking Jacksonville and Josh Allen. See if he can get on track. Same. Jacksonville, Josh Allen, do something. Minshew. Taking Miami, still watching Josh Allen. Okay. Minshew mania. All right. We got the 2 0 Bears, who, what the hell? I don't know how they're 2 0. Uh, they against, the yeah, it's, it's one of them. Against the 0 2 Atlanta Falcons, who, uh, yeah, they, they uh, I, I don't know. I'm taking the Falcons just because I think they can outscore the Bears. Who are you watching? 
I'm watching um, Calvin Ridley because he's been on fire. Yeah, you st- it's not an IDP pick, but hey. No, I, I hear you, and you took exactly my answer. 2-0 Falcons, Calvin Ridley, but I'll go with a different guy. I'll say Keanu Neal because he hasn't played 100% of snaps yet. I want to see I want to see that go up more, go up. Yeah, yep. seems pretty healthy. Keanu Neal is who I want to see. Yep. Uh, give me the Falcons. Except that, like, they need to figure out how to run an offense because – you can't just run Todd Gurley 24 times for 3.3 yards a carry and expect to win a game. Like I think they ran it like 19 times for 44 yards or something last week. It's like, you can't run an offense that way. Don't do that. Stop doing that. Yep. Taking Atlanta and watching Neil for sure. All right. Next up, this should be a pretty good matchup here. Um, the Rams have to go east again. So I guess they might have stayed out east. I don't know. Uh, they're facing the Buffalo Bills in Buffalo. Now, it's not cold yet, so that, that won't be uh, an issue. This one should be pretty good. Um, I, I want to see the Bills, and I want to see if Milano or Edmonds are on the field, because uh, if they aren't, this could be a long afternoon for the Bills, because, I mean, Miami was able to move the ball in them pretty decently. Yep. I, uh, <clears throat> I'm going to take the Rams just because Milano and Edmonds are still somewhat questionable, and I'll be watching the same thing, because I, I need them to play. Yeah. I'm going <laughs> to take the Bills, though. and I'm going to... At home... I'm going to take them. Yep. I'm going to take the Rams because I'm not buying this Buffalo Bills thing. Uh, I'm watching Matt Milano if he comes back, though. I I think he's my third most stoned linebacker at, like, 50%. And I need him back, and I need him healthy. Daryl, what you got? Did Daryl disappear again? Oh, man. No, I'm here. I'm taking the Rams. I'm still buying Buffalo, but I'm taking the Rams because I think their offense is a little better. But I do like Buffalo still to win that NFC East. They probably will. My my pick of the yeah. Dolphins uh, seems to be deflating very quickly. Uh, who are you watching? Are you? Oh, who am I watching? Uh, right That's now, I'm watching. Taylor, no, I'm watching Taylor Rapp because he's been the talk of the See, town right now. Okay. Daryl, welcome to IDP Nation. This is your first time on here, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, first time co- first time color, eat shit, Dan. First time, long time. <laughs> uh, I, uh, well, I mean, you, you think you think the guy that, who, that does this show regularly would have it down by now? The, the, the two guys that, that aren't on this show regularly got this, you know, rapid fire snap, down. Snap. And, uh, you know, Daryl's spending five minutes stewing over, I don't know, uh, See, Budweiser. Five minutes, y'all get a front row seat to how he provokes me each and every week right here. You heard row row seat. You're not getting any sympathy for me. Uh, <laughs> That's right. Real quick. So, Dynasty, 59-man roster. You know what? You're out, Sean. Johnny. Oh, give me <laughs> out. Uh, 53-man roster, uh, 12-team league. Taylor Rapp, what rookie pick would you send to acquire him right now? I, I saw your message earlier, so I will. Right. What is the most you would pay? The most I would pay probably third. third no, can save, yeah. save these grow on trees. Third. Yeah. You would send a third, though? Yeah, sure. Okay. Hollywood? Yeah. I think I would say, yeah, third. I'd be okay with that. Okay. I was happy with getting them for a fourth. Yeah. I, said, oh, yeah. I saw your message earlier. That's why I, I knew the answer. Yeah. yeah. All right. So rap is who Daryl's watching. We got the Washington football team. I actually got it right this week. I didn't oh. call them their old name because uh, I have been slipping <laughs> as many people have been, I'm sure. Yeah. At the Cleveland Browns. I got the Browns here. And, and I, yeah. I want to see um, Miles Garrett. Is uh, is Miles Garrett? We can kind of segue. Is Miles Garrett uh, Johnny the Greek's cheek splitter of the week? 
He yes. very, <laughs> he should be because he had a really nice week, but it's someone different. We'll get there. Um, okay, we'll get there. I am going, if it's spread, I'm going Washington. If it's just straight up, I'm taking the Browns because uh, Washington is getting seven. And I will take also Miles Garrett because he had a really nice week last week. I want to see what else he can do. Baker's Thanks. about to wake up feeling dangerous. Not against that front. <laughs> well, he's going to run for his life maybe. And- yeah. No, realistically, I think I'm taking the Redskins. Mm, the football yeah. team. Yeah. Yeah. Him up. That's my boy, Sean. <laughs> Hell yeah. Who are you watching? You redeemed yeah. yourself. I hate myself. Hey. Who are you watching? <laughs> uh, I'm watching Baker Mayfield. All right. As always. What the fuck? <laughs> Baker goddamn Mayfield. Really? Yeah, my dude. Oh, of course he's your dude. Daryl, Daryl's lucky. I've completely given up editing because if I had to edit this, I would be so pissed off. <laughs> <laughs> it's Washington, and you're watching Chase Young. If you're watching anybody else besides Chase Young, you're doing this wrong. Completely freaking wrong. I know what to expect from completely Chase. Completely wrong. Huh? I know what to expect from Chase Young. I so don't Washington watch him. Couldn't, couldn't do crap against the. The card. I don't give a shit what Washington's doing. I'm watching Chase Young. Yeah, oh, I get still, that. Did you pick Washington to win the game? The dude. I will, because Baker Mayfield freaking sucks. That, that oh, is boy. true. That is 100% the true. Only, oh, the only boy. thing that Baker is good at is commercials. He oh, is awesome wow. at commercials. Baker, wow. Baker crushed that last game, man. I'll get the, the freaking out of do you watch, we'll you watch the game? Sean's out. Johnny's you in. Dan's out. Johnny's in. Johnny, you're the new co-host. Did you watch the game? He did. He did have a nice I game. Did. This did is not, that game. This is not that defense. This is no. not that defense. Oh, I know that. I think it's he's not. going to suck. I think he's going to suck this week. Right. But saying he sucks. <laughs> is that is totally different than saying he's going to suck this week. Everybody is going to suck against this defensive front. I don't think they'll do enough. I mean, uh, Kyler I'm Murray st- made them look pretty bad. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, still, I'm not I'm saying still Baker being, you know, uh, has the athleticism that, that Kyler Murray oh, yeah, is, but he's not right. a statue back there by any right. means. Sure. Right. 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 All right, moving right. on to uh, Tennessee at Minnesota. Uh, Tennessee is a road oh, no. favorite. And uh, Minnesota looks like a garbage football team right now. Which is crazy. It's crazy. I mean, they need yeah. to deal Hunter back in the worst way. Who knew he was like the the, the infinity stone to put it all together here? I it's know. not him. It's the fact that they have no <laughs> secondary. Yeah, it's, that's true. It, it's Kirk Cousins. That's who it is. Well, you know, Kirk. getting no pass rush can really hurt a secondary. Because with no pass rush, they have all day to pick apart this secondary. True. I mean, they still have a better defensive front than most teams. There's no excuse they for do. that. They yeah. do. They haven't even done without right even without Hunter. There's no excuse. Yeah, and Gakwe had a nice game too. So he was yeah. getting there. Yeah, but Indy, Indy just rolled them. Like, yeah. It didn't even look like it's a game. I think Tennessee is just going to pound. This will be a Derrick Henry game here because they can pound the rock against this team. Although Tannehill could sling it. if AJ, I mean, A.J. Brown didn't even play yeah. against Jacksonville, and they had four touchdowns. So right. against the secondary, you, you bombs away. So it could be another Tannehill game there, Daryl. That's who I'm watching. The team MVP, Ryan Tannehill. Okay. I, li- I like I it. I don't know if Daryl hates Tannehill or loves him. It's his Lord and Savior, but he just denies it every week. Okay. Yeah. I'm uh, I'm taking take, I'm taking the tight I'm taking the Titans as well because I the, the road favorite thing it doesn't matter. I don't know. I feel like it doesn't matter as much this year. You know, no like, fans, it doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah. There's no. They have to cap it at seventy decibels. Like yeah. it, it doesn't matter. Right. And the teams yeah. that have fans in attendance, it doesn't even matter because right. 
they're just as loud as 70 decibels. I mean, they're not going to yeah. get louder than that. Right. So, so t and you're right. The Vikings, when I did my first corners article this year, I recognized one name on there. One. Chris Boyd. They're, they're all rookies. Chris Boyd. Is that the name you recognize? <laughs> no, I'm yeah. sure you didn't recognize So they're that. gonna get shredded. Tanis gonna have I like no, Mike. Hill. Oh, okay. Well, Mike Hughes was the guy Mike I was Hughes, like, oh, yeah, I, I've, yeah. I've seen I've seen that name before. But yeah, Titans shred him. Uh Tannehill has a huge game. I'm watching I'm watching Yannick and Gakwe because he got oh, he got oh. Yeah. No, hey, he had a good game last week. I'd like to see him continue it. Uh who you got, Sean? I'm okay uh, with that, but I thought you was gonna poke at me with Vic Beasley. I was about to lose my shit right here. No, I'm uh, I'm taking the Titans. Just I'm watching like Vic Beasley. <laughs> I'm so bummed you brought that up. I've been waiting this whole time to say Vic Beasley. You know what? I should have. I should have said. I should have said. I'm watching Jeff Gladney get hurt. By the golden arm of Ryan Tannehill is what I should have said to stick to the defense. No, you know what? I hate you for Danny Hill, but if Sean, he's got it right there with the Beasley. <laughs> such an ass. Well, we know you're taking the Titans because you're a homer. Now, who do you want to watch? I am taking the Titans, but I'm going to be real. This is a scary game. You get you get somebody backed up 0-2 in the corner that was a playoff team last year. Yep. You get the 0 3 Lions. This, yeah, this could be dangerous for Tennessee right now. I mean, this could be a game that gets away from them. I hope it ain't. I hope they feed Henry like they should. And if they do what they're supposed to do, they'll win. But attack the secondary is what they should do. Oh. Yeah, oh, yeah. You're a pound of the rock guy, dude. Uh, well, he's a Derrick Henry. With Henry, yeah. Yeah. Moving on, we got the Vegas Raiders coming uh, off who's one of the biggest upsets that I think I have seen on Monday night. Uh, Susan Colbert was the only one that got it right, by the way. Man, um, I, I took the Raiders last night. Well, on the ESPN broadcast. Uh, okay. She was the only one that got it right. Um, all the rest of them said the Saints were going to roll, and uh, I, I lost a few bucks on the Saints uh, mm. as well. Um, they're traveling to New England to play Cam Newton and the Patriots. And um, to be honest, the Seahawks were were barely able to escape with that victory. Um, I, I don't – I hate to say it, but I actually believe in Cam and the Patriots here. Who are you watching? I'm watching um, Chase Winovich. To watch those golden ah, locks run around the field. Ah, okay. Oh my God. Uh, he looks. He reminds me a lot of uh, of Kevin Green or Clay Matthews with the, the hair <laughs> sticking out the back of the. Yeah. yeah. I, like, I like it. I like it. I uh, unfortunately am also going with the Patriots. Uh, Raiders looked look great on Monday night, but let's be real, they're gonna get probably picked apart here. Gruden is not Belichick and never will be. Um, I like him better as a person, but. Not as a coach. Uh, and you I will seen be, the Subway commercials? Yeah, okay, that, that does change it a little bit. But, <laughs> but still. He you know who I'm watching? Sport. I'm watching Corey Littleton to see when the hell he's going to wake up and play football. That's who I, I'm I've been, watching. I've been telling people since, since the beginning of last year he's a fraud. <laughs> it it cer certainly looks that way. It certainly he does. Nicholas, he you did all, you need, all you need to know about – Corey Littleton is uh, that Nicholas Morrow was calling the plays at, at the green dot last night. That's all you need to know about Corey Littleton. Abandoned yeah. ship, baby. No. Abandoned <laughs> ship. I'll tell you what. Uh, you were right. I was wrong. I'll go back to that uh, Slack conversation. So I'll, I'll take the L on that one. Um, I'm taking the Patriots. Because Derek Carr is terrible, um, and I'm watching Kyle Duggar because I'm super excited. He actually played a little bit more. He did, yeah. He did. Yeah, was he looked him. good. Yeah. Daryl, <laughs> is Daryl here? Oh man, I'm Darryl. taking I'm taking New England. It's, it's going to be close, but I'm taking New England with that defense, and I still don't think teams can figure out what they're doing with Cam. Mm. He he's a weapon, whether you like it or not. He's a weapon. 
Um, he looks healthy, which is scary because yeah. he, I mean, he has not been healthy yes. in a long time. Last time he was healthy, he was in the Super Bowl. Right. So, I mean. Right. Uh, who are you watching, Elliot? I'm watching Winovich because he's going to be that dude. He's the next Rob Dinkovich. He's the next uh, Kyle Van Roy. Yeah, yeah, I mean, he's that star <laughs> defender for New England. He's what do you think about his hair? Oh, I love he's it. He's got good hair. Love too. it. He's yeah. jealous of his I'm hair. Sorry. He wishes he had his yeah. hair. <laughs> I'm just you know trying to see if he's listening I mean, to literally anything we're saying or if he's just like waiting for his turn and then going. He probably isn't. <laughs> next no, up. I am uh, so even. <laughs> next I, up. I won't lie. Dan's got, <laughs> Dan's got me on that. Next up, uh, San Francisco, or what's left of them, uh, yeah. stays in New York and met life and plays the Giants. Um, oh. I don't know. The over, under on, the over under on a- ACLs in this game, uh, <laughs> hopefully zero, but um, yeah, I mean. All right. If Bortles plays, give me the Niners. If Bortles <laughs> doesn't, then give me the Giants. Did, did not Denver is a different game. Oh shoot, that's right. I was thinking he was going to San Fran. Uh, so <laughs> I was like, when did no, the give me, give me the Forty Niners. Nick just Mullins give me the, the man. Just give me the Giants then. Uh, Ooh, okay. Uh, I'm taking the Niners. I want to see Nick Mullins produce. All right, all right. So who are you watching? Uh, I want to see Fred Warner because he's a good football player. Okay. I I am also I'm taking the Giants. I saw I read today that Jimmy G could probably play, so they've got that. But that's about it. They're uh, better with Nick Mullins playing, most likely. But Jimmy G is beautiful, and I'd marry him, so that counts for something. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, I'll, Joey the two. Hey, I'll take. Oh, he is beautiful. I can't. Oh, it's I it's can't. true. Uh, so yeah, I'll take the Giants, <laughs> and I will. I will. I will watch Quan Alexander because I'm starting a trend of talking about linebackers we all drafted massively early that don't do anything for us. So Corey uh, Littleton's up there on that list too. Yeah, yeah, I don't I don't know who I would watch in this game. There aren't many players yeah. that I really actually like in this game. Um I would have said Nick Bosa, but Yeah, I'm dude. Oh, okay, so I, so I traded with Johnny for Nick Bosa. Like Saturday day, night. Day before that, yeah. Saturday night. You yeah. didn't even get a full quarter out of that trade. I got zero points out of him. Zero points done for the year. So, uh, I don't know. I guess I like Lorenzo Carter, but like, you're never gonna play him. Like, I just get the uh, out of here, I'm Sean. Playing him. Crazy. I don't know what you're saying, but uh, I enjoy watching him. Uh, he's Sean. he's a player that I really like, oh and I gosh. really like Sean coming out. Of- so let me let me mute Dar- let me mute Daryl because what he's going to say is I'm going to watch the Giants and Blake Martinez because Blake Martinez Blake Martinez Blake Martinez is That's he a Blake Mar- is he a Blake Martinez fan Yes he is he is he is, he is, he is the card carrying president of the Blake Martinez fan we're, club we're Okay not for spending 10 minutes on this we're not doing for it. IDP that's yeah, fine but he's not. trash he's a trash <laughs> player Oh my god here we go. Uh, <laughs> we're an MVP show. Oh, you we're an MVP show. We don't even have right. the game, right. Daryl. Just, just we, we know you're going to talk about Blake Martinez, but who you got winning this game? Yeah, yeah, y'all can fuck. Off. Who do you I'm have taking winning? San Francisco. Love there for you go. Okay, San Francisco. Okay, thank you. And I do okay, here we go. Here we go. We can spend the Patreon arguing about Blake Martinez. Next game. <laughs> That's perfect. That's That'll be perfect. perfect. Yeah, uh, Cincinnati, the Bengals, and uh, Joe Burrow go to Philadelphia. The 0-2 Eagles, who just look lost. Yeah. Uh, can the Eagles right the ship against the Bengals and Joe Burrow? Um, I- I'm going to go with the Eagles because uh, – they they got to turn it around now, or I think uh, the the city of Philadelphia might have uh, twice as many shootings in it if they don't start doing that. I want to see uh, T.J. Edwards because he actually looked better in week two than he did in week one, so maybe that's a trend in the right direction for him. 
No, I like it. I like it. Uh, I'm also going to go with the Eagles. I don't feel great about it, though. Uh, they if, it was a point, if it was against the spread, I might take Cincinnati. Oh, yeah. They're they're, they're giving six. I, I would oh, definitely yeah. take Cincy with the spread on this. Um, and for the E – oh, I'm watching Javon Hargrave because he came back last week. Oh, but he yeah. Wasn't, he wasn't 100%. He only played like 30 snaps, 30% of snaps. Uh, but, yeah, Javon Hargrave. Yes, absolutely. Okay. I'm taking the Eagles, and uh, I want to see Josh Sweat. Mm -hmm. He's looked good as a pass rusher, real good, and I have been waiting for his opportunity for a while now. So, happy about that. Yep. Daryl? No, I'm with Johnny. Philadelphia, and I'm definitely watching Javon Hargrave. Absolutely. So no, no Burrow Bengals here, huh? Uh -oh. Houston, I like Burrow, but I like Philadelphia a lot better. Houston at Pittsburgh, uh, the Steelers, and uh, how about TJ Watt? Just because he is going to destroy uh, this Houston <laughs> offensive line. It's trash to begin with. Yeah, uh, who you got winning? Uh, Pittsburgh, probably by like three touchdowns. I don't know because <laughs> Houston <laughs> is. Uh, is struggling moving the ball in general, and they're facing a. I mean, although Jeff Driscoll made Pittsburgh's defense look a little human, last right, week. right. But. It it feels like a trap game for Pittsburgh. That's what it feels like. It does. Yes. You know what I mean. This is one of those ones that Almost, Houston will win, yeah. it, and I'll be like, I'll be like, yeah, I could see that coming. But I, but if you made me like put a gun to my head, made me bet on it, yeah, I'm taking the Steelers. Somebody um, said that last week about Baltimore, and I'm like, yeah, but I mean, and Bill O'Brien does have a habit of winning games. He has no business winning, right? Um, but right. he also has a habit of making terrible GM decisions, and um, they're catching yeah, up they, to him. Yeah. They don't have an offensive line, right? So yeah, no, I'll, I'll take the Steelers, and I will watch Minka shit Patrick do nothing like <laughs> usual. <laughs> oh. Uh, Daryl um, likes that one. All right. Uh, yeah, I'm I'm taking the Texans, and I'll watch Mika Fitzpatrick go for, you know, 23 points. Oh. I will literally bet you anything oh. that doesn't happen. Oh, no, I'm not, I'm not putting money on that. <laughs> I know what your bets um, normally involve. Oh, no, 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 no. no. No, but but seriously no, though, this, I, I, this has I like, to happen on a crossover. This has to happen. Uh, well, we can't bet each other. I got to bet one of you then something. Um, and it, I'm changing my pick. I'm going with Texans. Uh, now that Sean said it, I'm just going to commit to it. I'm doing it. It feels <laughs> now that like you're not right crazy. In. Now that I now that I don't seem like the only crazy person, I'm committing to it. Yeah. No, I'm taking Pittsburgh. I say I'm not betting my life on Bill O'Brien. So. Yeah, he sucks. and as long as he's in Houston, I love it. You go, Bob. Who you watching? Who you watching, Daryl? You watching your boy uh, Zach Cunningham or? Yeah, Daryl's not watching anybody. He's cracking a bottle right now. No, I'm watching Cunningham because I'm really high on him. Uh, I'm watching uh, Mike Hilton, the cornerback from Pittsburgh, because he's one of the few corners that gets a lot of blitzing opportunities. Will get you some sacks and fantasy. So. Yeah. Watching those two, but yeah, Pittsburgh's gonna beat their ass. They're gonna be on three. I can't wait. It's gonna be great. Yeah, Daryl, Daryl on Friday nights. You should see him on the Friday night because he's got like bottles all over the place. He's like slamming something, slamming something else. He's got like four of them lined up. He just goes to town on Friday nights. I, I believe oh, that. Shit, you're a liar. You're such a liar. <laughs> I don't Go know back and watch the video. Go back and watch the video. Uh, next up, the uh, New York uh, – I don't know if you can call them a football team. The New York football Jets, um, <laughs> barely a football team, at the Indianapolis Colts. I, I mean, I want to watch I want to watch the Maniac um, have his first really good game of the season. Right. It really has been very pedestrian so right. far. And, and I don't know if we're going to get that because – the Jets are going to spend 42 minutes on defense again. <laughs> That's true. They probably will be um, – the, the, the Jets 
Will uh, the, the so the Colts will be the cheek splitter of the week, the entire team. <laughs> oh yeah. Jonathan Taylor is gonna split some cheeks, no doubt. Um, yes. Yeah, I'll take the Colts and I will watch uh Oh man, I will watch Bless Austin, New York Jets. There you go for a Bless random him. one. Bless them, Austin. Bless them, Austin. Yep. Uh, give me the Colts. Jets suck. Uh, I'm watching Quentin Williams, though. He had a <laughs> blow up yeah. game last week. And he was a pleasant surprise last week. He, he should good. be good. He's not, though. I want to see if this continues. Yep. Daryl. Taking the Colts, watching Marcus May. He's been the Thanks. hot topic of IDP. My guy. With Jamal Adams going, everybody has been all over him right now. Can he continue to keep it going? Um, that's who I'm watching right now. See, I'm sorry. I was so good. used to the NFL getting scheduling so horribly wrong. I didn't realize they actually have one, two, three, four, five afternoon games this week. So they really? actually did something right. Oh, wow. So oh, we're, wow. We're, that, wow. I started the 405 games. I was going to stop and uh, hand it over to Daryl because this episode of IDP Nation slash Guys is uh, sponsored by Blue Chew. Daryl's got to like find oh, his yeah. read. <laughs> So I'll no, set you no, up no, again. No, <laughs> this episode I this. I is sponsored I wasn't by Blue this. Chew. You should have been. We're doing a podcast here. Well, <laughs> what are you doing I over there? Look, I got a little pretty white. Damn it, Sean. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> yeah, you definitely don't want to send uh, this part. Uh, so so we'll we'll make it at one minute and or we have one minute, uh, one hour and 12 minutes is where we're at. So let's get a move on here, Daryl. You had an hour to pull the read up here. Well, kind of got sidetracked. Me. <laughs> Your 25 ounce beers got in the way. No, actually, that's not what got in the way. Y'all got me pissed. Off, I forgot what I was doing. Well, so. if you drink five 25 ounce beers, you can go and, and get you some blue chew. Right. Is, is that is so, that just a... here we go? <laughs> okay. <laughs> so guys, remember the days when you are always ready to go? Now you can increase your performance and get that extra confidence in bed. Listen up. Bluechew.com. That's blue, like the color blue. Blue Chew brings you the first chewable with the same FDA approval, FDA approved in active ingredients as Viagra and Cialis. Right. You can take it anytime, day or night, even on the full stomach, so you can be ready whenever the opportunity arises. If you can benefit from more confidence when it counts, Blue Chew is the fast, easy way to en enhance your performance. And Blue Chew is prescribed online by licensed physicians, so you don't have to go to the doctor's office or wait in line at the pharmacy, and it ships right to your door in a discreet package. Yeah, and the best part, they're made right here in the U.S. of A. And since Blue Chew prepares and ships direct, they're cheaper than a pharmacy, no awkwardness, and you don't even have to leave the house. Right now, we've got a special deal for our listeners Visit BlueChew.com and get your first shipment free. It's not going to cost you a penny. When you use our special promo code IDP Nation, all you got to do is pay the $5 shipping. Again, that's BlueChew, B-L-U-E-Chew.com. Promo code IDP Nation, try it free today. And, wow, it's... it's uh. If Daryl was ready, I, I'd hate to see how he would torch that. But anyway. how, did, how did you guys get sponsored by them? I want that sponsor. It's not, it, it's not awesome. important how, but just listen. You know, you got Valentine's Day. You got birthdays. You got anniversaries. You know, you got a hot date sitting on the side. So what you need to, but, but, but no, here, here's no, the deal. No, 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 hold up. 
we're Here's getting the deal. You want you want your Sundays free? You take a blue chew on Saturday night, and your Sundays will be free. Hell uh. yeah! You know, you take Mama out, you take her, you wine or diner, sixty diner on freaking Saturday night. You know, you you pop a blue chew, and here we go. Sundays are free. I mean, it's a no brainer, dude. It's a no brainer. <laughs> Oh, man. Wow. So, yeah. Go visit BlueChew.com. Let's get back to some football And again, games here. that's Blue. B-L-U-E Chew.com. Promo code IDP Nation. And you know what? You're not only uh, helping yourself. You're not only helping your significant other. You're helping us out at IDP Nation because we get a little kickback from that. So, help us out. <laughs> Hence the they're sponsoring the show there, Daryl. Yes. You get a little lift there. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. I'm so jealous you guys got that. Anyway, yes, Daryl is enjoying the Blue Chew sponsorship. Oh um, my god, that's so speaking cool. Speaking of, um, until uh, tonight, I've been knocking them out of the park, but y'all got me a little rattled. So no, okay. no, that was good. I would, I would buy it. Hey, <laughs> hey, I'm just saying, we all get a little older. We need a little help. Yeah, <laughs> that's what blue juice for. Gotta bang, gotta bang your back in the game, baby. Well, we got two uh powder blue teams like blue L U E. And Dan's like, I can't move on enough. Uh, we have Carolina Panthers at the Los Angeles Chargers. Uh, hopefully, the Justin A Bears uh led <laughs> Chargers. Jesus Christ, if he doesn't start this week, I'm starting a freaking right. He's not well, starting this week. You start rioting now. Well, I, I I live and die by the everybody lies. They'll they'll make up some other chest pain that Tyrod Taylor came up with this week, his hangnail or something. Uh, uh, how can you bench? I mean, he came in and played well. I mean, the only yeah. thing he didn't do was win the game. Right. Right. But he tied the Super Bowl champion Chiefs. For goodness sake! I mean. Yep. I Everybody thought he played lied. really well. Everybody. I think the whole he gave the Super Bowl champion Chiefs a run for their money thing is overblown because Mahomes played like garbage. He did. Um, yeah. He was really bad. Yeah, but I mean the, the Chargers defense needs to be commended because they really they made it tough. Insane. I mean, yeah. and that's make what, it easy. So, and right. that's what I'm saying. Where everyone's like, "Oh, Herbert gave them a run for their money." It's like, no. Nick, Joey Over, hey, he gave a better run than the uh, right. Texans did in the week one. Sure, so he's better than Watson. <laughs> and but, and that's where this narrative is going, where it's like, no, Herbert didn't do this. Herbert had a really good game. Sure. Yeah. Let's Let him take his lumps. I, I mean, he, he's already in. It's not like you're saving him. Like, Tua, yeah. they're saving him in Miami. Like, you know, right. from, from – he's already played the, the – you know, it, it's like the um, what you call it. The the bubbles already burst on this. Like it's you're, you're yeah. yeah. The floodgates have been opened. There's no reason to bench him after this. I mean, I don't that's... hate leaving him sitting just because uh, they're not going anywhere. <laughs> well, they're not going anywhere. But also, like for me, he was definitely one that needed some polish. Um, he did. But what better way than to go out against the Carolina Panthers and polish your game a little bit? Sure. and yeah. But we've also right. seen it where these guys go out there and they get destroyed and yeah. they're never the same again. Yes yeah. and no. I mean, maybe they're scared of Ryan Leaf 2.0. I mean, I get it. I mean, <laughs> Ryan Leaf, Joey Harrington, Josh <laughs> Rosen, like all these guys, dude, that just they start right away they go into a garbage situation and they just get destroyed and then they're in bad shape for the rest of their career. Although I will say the chargers are a much better situation than most teams in the NFL. Yeah. I mean, their offensive line's a little rough, but they have a good defense and he just has to manage the game. I mean, he's got a, a, a backfield of, you know, Joshua Kelly and, who's emerged and uh, tell me you didn't just list Joshua Kelly before Austin Eckler. <laughs> Kelly's getting a bunch of carries. Uh, it was in order of importance. Uh, who you got this week, Dan? <laughs> uh, I got the chargers. Cause uh, I, I mean, Carolina, they're, they're a young team. They're, they're trying to change 
everything about how they do everything. They're without yeah. Christian McCaffrey, for goodness sake. I mean, right. Mike Davis yeah. is not going to uh, be Christian McCaffrey. So I got the Chargers. Yes. The Chargers defense is going to win this game. True. More so. I mean, they won the first game, to be honest. I mean, uh, kind of. I mean, the push off from uh, AJ Green kind of lost yep. in that game. But. Who, are, uh, who are you watching? Uh, Joey Bosa to see if he can uh, not get winded in the fourth quarter again. Yeah, that was weird, right? Um, I'm, like, I'm like, he's hurt or something. And then I know Daryl is going to talk about it for a month about how Joey Bosa is hurt all the time. Uh, hey, hey, I'm just saying. Nick's hurt. <laughs> yeah. Come on, Joey. You're up You're going to do victory laps because Nick Bosa tore his ACL. Really? Jesus. That's That's where that's where we're at. I'm just saying. God dang. I mean, I'm a Seahawks uh, fan, and I feel bad for Nick Bosa hurting. His I name. do feel bad for him. I do. Yeah. No, me too. Me too. Uh, yeah, I'll go with the Chargers just because of the defense, like you said. And what I'm watching, this is going to be a little obscure, but it's relevant, is to see if Justin Burris is actually playing in three safety sets or if that's just some BS that I saw that is not really happening. Did you see uh, the Fox game when they introduced the defense? They listed Jeremy Chin at outside linebacker. Yeah. That's wild. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, well, because that's kind of what it is now, where it's like, yeah, Yeah, you're the third safety, you're basically a linebacker. Yeah. But if but if Burris is getting snaps elsewhere, I think that that makes him more consistent than just playing quarter, and that's always good when these sights are behind on that, and you can play like a hidden safety guy. Did Burris, Boston, and Chin all play 100% of snaps again this week? They did, yes. Because the week one, that blew my mind. I'm like, that's crazy. And then like, that can't two, be correct. That can't be, yeah. No, they did again. <laughs> yeah. Is somebody going to yep, team me up here in this game? Daryl's going to team me up. Come on. Uh, what do you guys got, Sean? No, Darryl? Uh, Nick. Go ahead, Daryl. I'm taking talking. the Chargers, and I'm watching – no, I'm okay, taking. You watching? I'm watching. I'm taking the Chargers. I'm watching Jen because he has been playing lights out, and don't be surprised if he's not a contender for defensive rookie of the year. Market. Yeah, I think I'm taking the Chargers too, but I think it's going to be closer than you guys have indicated. And uh, Chen is. Oh yeah, it'll be close. Absolutely. Yeah, I think it'll be real close. And then yeah. uh, Chen is the dude mm-hmm. I'm watching too, just because you know I'm a. I'm a rookie film yeah. guy, and he's no, nobody wants to team me up here. I want to see. Good job, Sean. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Got to get, get your stuff in here. I can't yeah. believe you have that drop, and we don't. I'm super pissed about that. I know. No, he's got that shit on lock and load. Let yeah. me tell you. <laughs> Another yeah. talk I gotta have with Nate. Jesus. Oh my god, he's so good. Did you see? Did you see the there. clip? Um, somebody somebody tweeted out that they had um, somebody uh, a physical therapist had Roy Jenkins come in with like gamer's thumb or something. I saw that. Something. That was great. <laughs> like Daryl might have said that it to was me. So I don't great. Know. That's amazing. Um, that is amazing. I wonder if it, it it's so really great. Leroy Jenkins with gamer thumb here. <laughs> but anyway, it's man. It was so great. Lightning round here. Uh, we got uh, Tampa Bay visiting the Denver Broncos. I'm going to go oh, to Tampa. Oh, I can't wait. And let's see. Um, you know, I'll go. I'll go against script. I'll, I'll see um, Shaq Barrett to see if he can come out of his obscurity that he's had so far this year. Yep, I like it. Yeah, I love sucker. I also. I'll also go Bucks. I think it's going to be close, though, even with O'Driscoll back there, um, the O'Driscolls. And uh, I will watch Bradley Chubb to see if he gets oh off the shot. I can't even with you people. What? I, don't even, I can't even tell what you're whining about over there. <laughs> and you're just, just like whining up. into the abyss. like about the, No, they're so wrong. Come on, Sean. You got this. I, I wrong believe about- you, man. Wrong about what? It's who I'm watching. How am I wrong? <laughs> I don't know what you're. I don't know what we're wrong about. I'm watching Chubb. No, nope. watching Chubb. Yeah, 
What do you mean, no? Oh, yes, I you am. know what? That would have been a perfect opportunity for our blue chew spot right here. <laughs> uh, no. You got to remember that for next week. Yes, we do. we do. We do. I'm watching... I'm watching Bradley Chubb, and I'm taking the Broncos if Bortles starts. If not, I'm not. So Bortles is not starting. No, There's he's no not. Way. So I'm not. I don't, care. <laughs> I don't care who's starting for Denver. They suck. Tampa Bay is going to roll them, and I am watching Antoine Winfield. He is a contender for Defensive Rookie of the Year. Look what he's done the first two games. He's a stud. You need to have him on your roster, and you need to be starting him. So, so far, Daryl has named five people that are going to no, be no, defensive no, no. rookie of the year. Yeah. I've named three. Here's no. the thing, Daryl. I know he's good. I don't have to watch him. I'm sorry that you do. <laughs> no, so I like what Hollywood said about – uh, the train leaving the station, so to speak, because that's true. A lot of these, a lot of these redraft people don't really know about Winfield yet. Like right. this, this is it. This is your chance tonight yeah. to get him before exactly. you can ever get him again. Cause exactly. he's going bye-bye soon. Next up, we got Detroit going to the desert to face the Cardinals. I think we can all slam dunk the Cardinals on this one. Uh, I want to see if Isaiah Simmons can pick some splinters out of his buttocks and actually get on the field. Yeah, that's a good one. Uh, I, will- I mean, how do you hell do you draft a guy in the top 10 and play him 11 snaps or some crap? Play Devondre Campbell 100% instead. Or or, or Chris or De- Banjo. Devin Kennard. Yeah. Christ Unbelievable. I mean. um, yeah, no, I hear you. Uh, definitely Cardinals. And I will watch and see if they keep screwing with us with Tracy Walker. Sean? Yeah, the Cardinals, and I'll uh, be watching the ground as a puddle fills with my tears. Accurate. <laughs> Daryl, are you good? I'm taking, no, I'm, I'm taking Arizona, too. And I have seen it all over Reddit, Facebook, you know, social media. Everybody is kind of disappointed in Isaiah Simmons, but I think you got to pump the brakes with him. This is what we expected. How they're going to use him? Where are they going to use him? He's going to be a star. You're just going to have to wait on him. So, but yeah, is, he, is he a potential defensive rookie of the year? No, he's not. <laughs> and, I hope he wins now. <laughs> I hate you, Sean. I hate you. God, I hate you. See, I love Johnny because he's cool, but you and Dan Yonkin, I hate you both. <laughs> I hate you both. Instant In other words, we, inter- we, we create entertainment. Now, this is the game of the afternoon here. Oh, I know. Um, I'm, not, I'm not looking forward to it, honestly. Dallas at Seattle. Um, I think it's going to be a good game because uh, I, I think, I think so neither too. defense can stop anybody. Um, right. So I think it's going to be a shootout again. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go with my Seahawks, obviously, but, uh, yeah. I want to see, um, if Quandre Diggs can stay in the game this week and not target somebody. And that's the, f- has there been another guy, uh, t- thrown out for targeting in, in I don't remember that like, happening in recent. I don't right? either, to be honest. I thought it was just a 15 flag and, uh, you know, move on with your day. I've never, I don't think, seen them follow through with that. Maybe they're coming down on that extra hard. I mean, Uh, it was a bad hit. And, you know, if it was college, that'd be no doubt targeting gone. But, I mean, they don't have that rule necessarily. It's it's discretion. Yeah. I think if it was the second one of the game, then, yeah, you throw the guy out. But, I mean, it was – I think if it's intentional, you have grounds to throw them out. If it's not, yeah. don't worry. Yeah, that but. definitely wasn't right. It was um, a bad decision on his part, definitely. I don't know yeah. if he meant to lead with the crown, but, I mean, yeah. you see dudes lead with the crown of their head on offense all the time, and they never get called for it. Yeah. No. Uh, You're sounding like a homer, by the way, but – no, it's it's I, I can see it. Uh, yeah, I'm also gonna go with the Seahawks because unlike most of Cowboys Nation, I'm a pessimist Cowboy fan. Um, but on the upside, I do think this will be the DFS and streaming corners game of the week easily. Uh, and I will be watching Joe Thomas, Dallas Cowboys, 
uh, the replacement for Leighton Van Der uh and he Ooh. had 12 combined tackles last week. So there you go. If you need a linebacker, there you go. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm taking the Seahawks because they finally decided to uh, let Russ cook, <laughs> as they said in uh, Seahawks Twitter. Um, it took way longer than it should have, but it seems like they've embraced the aggressive play calling, which is great, and look what happens. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's nice not to see a drive – Every drive in the first half start with run up the middle twice and then third down hope <laughs> Russell can do right. something out of his ass. Cause, third and six, uh, you know. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's nice to see yeah. actually like moving the ball in the first half. Yep, they embrace the numbers and the science of the game, unlike uh, Hollywood over there who wants to pound the rock. Um, oh, oh. oh God. I'm watching uh, Everson I'm watching Griffin. you last and last, <laughs> I'm just leaning into it, man. If you're going to say you hate me this much, I'm just going to go for it. You've like, been saying that for about three or four years now about me. Sure. So. You guys are still you know, The good thing for you is I do not hate you as much as I hate Dan. <laughs> <laughs> I got three get, years. So I get, get to a couple point. years. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's got you um, out a little bit. I'm watching Everson Griffin, though. He's been having a really nice time over the Cowboys. I got a lot of shares of him, and I'm really enjoying the numbers there. Daryl? Hey, I'm taking Seattle. No, I love Seattle. You know, their defense is a little susceptible, but, man, let Russ cook with DK Metcalf and Lockett, Chris Carson. Yep. They got the high-powered offense. Um the guy I'm watching is Jamal Adams and Alden Smith. You know, that's Alden Smith's been a hot topic. Everybody's been hitting up, pick him up, pick him up. You know what? I need to see more than two weeks of him right now. I need to see him continuously do this. But Jamal Adams has been a beast. Defensive player of the year right now through two weeks. Defensive He's giving out to everybody. You know what? <laughs> He's giving awards out to everybody. Hey, <laughs> I'm telling you, him going to Seattle was was huge for you guys. Oh, I loved it. He, oh, yeah. He's been a baller, dude. He's trying to make himself <laughs> worth two first-round picks, that's for sure. Yeah, yeah. And so far, he's, he's been, been – I mean, if, you, if you look at their last two first-round picks, he's, he's already eclipsed those two. So, <laughs> sure. yeah, I mean, at, least, like... at least LJ Collier has seen the field this year. Which is nice, but yeah, no, that's that's true. <laughs> oh god, that was such a mind blowing pick when it happened. It's like, yeah, wait, what? Like uh, the dude has a spin move counter. That's all he's got going for him. Yeah, you know, I, I I will gladly do the uh, the draft show the next two years because Seattle won't be in the first round for me to have to question their picks. So. Sure. <laughs> Uh, next up, we got a couple very good uh, primetime matchups this yeah. week this, to make up for the Thursday night stinker. We got the Green right. Bay Packers visiting the Saints. The Saints are a different team at home. Um, they, they definitely were week one and week two, very night and day. Yep. Um, can Aaron Rodgers continue the uh, FU tour? <laughs> The I've been disrespected tour that he seems to be on, um, although he's throttled to kind of, you know, no offense, but less than average secondaries this past two weeks. And Adams is supposedly not playing. Yeah, Devontae Adams may be held out. Um, I think they said he is. Yeah, but I mean, the New Orleans is playing without Michael Thomas, and Breeze didn't really move the ball downfield. Maybe Taysom Hill can throw the ball down the field. Yeah. Don't. <laughs> Don't. Well, I mean, the Saints didn't do much on offense. But beyond the first quarter, they looked pretty good in the first quarter. And then the, the Raiders just dominated that game. Um, I'm actually going to take the Packers here. I, I think the, the Saints, I don't know that they have enough without Thomas what? on offense. Um they're home, but nobody's allowed in the stadium, probably. So I'm going with uh, Aaron Rodgers and the pack to stay hot. Yeah, I thought I was going to be a crazy person because that's how, that's how this feels. It feels like a Packers that's a win. no-brainer. Yeah, it feels like a Packers uh, win. They don't have Thomas either. So, and, and Aaron 
Aaron Jones is just good God. He is cooking right now. So I don't know. I don't think they miss Adams that much. Yeah, I'll, I'll go you with the what? Packers, especially if we're doing a spread because they're getting like four points here, basically. Uh, and I will watch C.J. Gardner Johnson to see him do nothing again after everyone goes out and wastes waiver wire fab on him, like CD always. Deuce. CD Deuce. Uh, Chauncey Gardner CD Johnson. Who's <laughs> yeah. Chauncey Gardner Johnson is good, dude. Sorry, he's not he's good in uh, be. <laughs> he had a bad he's week. Uh, he was a rookie last year. Um, yeah, oh and he was God. massively inconsistent last year. That's because he wasn't playing a ton of snaps. Well, I don't know what you're complaining about, Hollywood. What are you doing? He was always complaining. <laughs> you, I can't. You can't with what? <laughs> what side are you taking? I, I can't with you right now. What's the issue? Pick your pick. Come on. With your... Yeah, go ahead, Sean. Let, okay, let, so let's I'm see. taking the, New Orleans. The Patreon it's, will it's, just be it's, these it's two gonna, arguing the whole No, it's... That that'll be well, that'll be the show. If we get that far, okay. New Orleans is going to win this week. It's going to be a shootout, and the player I'm watching is Christian Kirksey because everybody wants to see what he's doing. They're high on him. With Martinez out of the way, he does have the major role at inside linebacker. Uh, can he stay healthy? That's the question. Mm-hmm. All right, so I'm taking the Packers. Uh, I'd love to see Marcus Davenport back. Um, I don't yes. know if he's going to be back or not. Um, I am watching Preston Smith because I want to see whether he is – I want to see what he's doing because we're seeing a lot of Rashawn Gary and Preston Smith was invisible week one and then he showed up and got a sack and I think five tackles week two. What's he doing? What's going yeah, on here? And Gary looked good last week. He did. Yeah, he did. He had, I think, a, a, a sack and a half last week. So, Yeah, Lions' offensive line is garbage, to be fair. But he did right. look Gary really good. Gary doubled his entire career output so far. <laughs> oh, right. He yeah. did, actually. Yeah. Yeah, he did. Yeah. So we got one last game. Um, I'm hoping for a, a, a kind of uh, similar feel to the Rams and – Chiefs game from a couple of years ago on Monday night. Uh, this is right. Kansas City at Baltimore. I think it's actually going to be kind of low scoring, though. Really? I think these games, well, you know, these games we always think are going to be shootouts oftentimes turn out to be a struggle. I mean, right. Mahomes did not look good last week. And the Ravens haven't really, I mean, they haven't really played anybody. Right. And I mean they're they're moving the ball. I got the Ravens in this one. I think they're at home. I think um, you know that we didn't get to see this in the the playoffs, but um, we've seen it recently in the regular season. That was the overtime yeah. game. Yeah. yeah. So I think it's a good game. I think Baltimore pulls it out. Um, I want to see Patrick Queen in prime time. See what he can bring. And I'm sure Hollywood's going to anoint him a possible defensive rookie of the year. <laughs> I, I love it. I love it. Yeah, I'm going to also go with the Ravens. I feel like they're a no, little more no. more complete right now. It, as crazy as that sounds, they feel a little more complete. Uh, I will go with Frank Clark to see what's going on with him. Is it, Did he just have a stomach bug or, like, I, I have a lot of Frank Clark. I, I need Frank Clark. Right. <laughs> Yeah. Right. Uh, I'm taking the Chiefs. I think that in a shootout, um, if it gets to that, if it gets to that point where both the offenses are clicking, the Chiefs have the edge here. Um, so I think if you're right. if you're airing the ball out, you want in Patrick Mahomes' arm, not Lamar Jackson's legs or arm. Um, so I think if it comes down to that, Absolutely. you you want it, Patrick Mahomes. Um, I'm watching to see if Willie Gay gets on the field. Yeah. Nice. Another possible defensive yeah. rookie of the year candidate. <laughs> nope. Nope. I'm with Sean. Kansas City is going to win a close one. I think this is going to be a – it's going to be a high-scoring game, I think. Um, but I do think Kansas City wins. I'm watching Chris Jones, and I'm also watching the rookie – Ladarius Sneed, 
that they've been playing at corner Ooh. for the past two weeks. He's been playing lights out. So, uh, you know, if he can do it three weeks in a row, that's what I want to see. But, yeah, I like Chris Jones too. And I like Kansas City because I think they're just a little bit more of a jailed together team than what Baltimore is. That's where I'm at. All right. So that'll wrap this up. Before we go, Johnny, is there any other uh, spot you want to hit besides maybe your cheek splitter of the week? We could do a quick steak and salad because I think everyone okay. likes that, right? You know what I mean? <laughs> it's, it's, so so it's here fun. we go. Yeah, this is stupid easy. It's something you liked, something you hated. We'll start with the steaks. My steak was the Cowboys' crazy onside kick and comeback win. Legatron is once again Legatron. Uh, what do you guys got? <laughs> uh, so my steak <laughs> is uh, Blake Bortles getting a job again. Uh, uh, <laughs> My salad is this entire week and these injuries. It's been stupid as hell. Uh, and bonus steak, I won 18 out of 23 this week, so I'm feeling good about that. Nice. My steak was uh, nice. Lano Hill coming up with yes. a huge stop on Sunday night uh, and letting Russ cook. Um, that pl- I, I really enjoyed – um, DK Metcalf versus Stephon Gilmore all night. Those two were, I mean, it, it looked like they were going to brawl, like to yeah, start all out brawl on the Seahawks sideline. So I hope they, they see each other again soon because uh, be, being a very entertaining thing. And I hated, uh, like Sean said, all the injuries, like you know, Nick Bosa going down, McCaffrey's out for six to eight weeks. I have more McCaffrey than Barkley, so the Barkley thing didn't hurt me too much. Still hurts just to, you know, good players, you know, not in the league. Not It's not as exciting on Sundays without these superstars. Yeah. And, um, and, and, of course, Bruce Irvin getting hurt. Yeah, no, that's, that's my salad as well, the injuries. Hollywood, what do you got? Yeah, my salad was uh, big man Jeffrey Simmons getting his hand up. I know uh, Landu gets all the credit for the interception to save the game, but it was Simmons that caused it. And, again, the the injuries, man, it, that was so devastating everywhere because yeah. I lost Bosa in a lot of leagues. Uh, it, man, the injuries have been superior to everything that's going on right now. So yep. They have been brutal. Uh, so we thank you yep. guys for hanging in here for, I don't know, it's been almost, yeah, almost two hours, well, an hour and 45. So uh, we'll let you guys oh my God, uh, get on with your day. Right now. I am, but we still have to do a Patreon after this. <laughs> so uh, let's let's Damn get out of yeah. here. Uh, thanks, Johnny and Sean, for coming on as we do this mashup event here. And uh, that'll Damn. be about it. Thank you for having us, uh, Dan. I mean, I, when I hit you up, it was basically just to pick your brain on StreamYard. So you just like handling everything and having us on was is huge. Definitely appreciate it. Um, you know, you did us a salad this week, so we got you. Whatever you need, anything, let me know. Yeah, man, sounds good. And that'll be about it. Go Hawks! Let Russ cook. Tighten up. Feed the beast. Your- that's your turn to beast. Since when does Marshawn Lynch play for your team? <laughs> <laughs> I heard oh the click. Uh, you got him. Yep. <laughs> oh, I so Got him. I hate you. We're going to have to God get you sharp on some analytics, dude. <laughs> you, you guys. I hate you. Uh, but no, really, though. Thank you. Um, yeah. I mean, when, when Nate canned the episode, it was like this Black Sunday happened. We got to talk about something. We can't just miss right. a week. Right, we can't just that. not do this. Yeah. yeah. And, and just let me say special shout out to, to Nate uh, with the passing of his grandmother. We love him. We're not recording anymore. Well, but, I'm but still no, it's, anyway. Yeah, no. You know, special shout out to Nate. And-